Today, we're gonna to be checking out the Arctic Air Pure Chill. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, today we are checking out the Arctic Air, the Pure Chill. This is the newest model that you can find out in stores right now. Okay, it says new and improved. I'm looking at the box, trying to figure out what exactly is new and improved about this. It looks exactly like the old models. So, and I have the other two models here. So this is the, the original Arctic Air that you could get a few years ago. And this was last year's new model, the Arctic Air Ultra. Not much difference between the two. I, I believe this one, I did a video comparing the two and I'll leave a link to that. Um, there were pluses and minuses to both of them, but super similar. I think there was some noise. This one, the newer model was a little quieter. So we'll see how this new one runs. But if you're looking for one, whichever one they have in the store is gonna work. There's not gonna be really much difference between any of these models. I doubt you can even find the original, unless maybe you went to like a flea market or something. But like I said, I picked this one up from Walmart. I think it was $39. So that's where you can find out the newest models and you know, depending on your Walmart, I would assume they're gonna have the Pure Chill. Maybe they still have Ultras, but it doesn't matter which one you get. They're gonna work about the same. All right, so the Arctic Air Pure Chill UV light purifies as it cools. So I think that's the only, the new thing with this one. It has a purifying UV light. How well that works. I don't know, maybe someone that knows more about science would have to test that to see how purified the air is coming out of these. Um, I'm, I don't think you're getting this as a device really to purify the air. You're more getting it to cool yourself down. You know, there's probably better devices out there that can purify air a lot better than say this Arctic air will. But if you know and you've done research and you know how well the, the air is purified by these, please let us know down in the comments. Like I said, I am just testing this to see how well it cools down my personal space. And I noticed on this box, and I know the original one, the original Arctic Air, that was one of the biggest complaints, is it said uh, whole room cooling. You know, it would cool your room. Now they put on here personal space cooler um, let's see what else they got. Cool your space, not whole room cooler. So I think there was a lot of complaining about that, that it was kind of false advertising by saying this will cool an entire room. It won't. It's going to cool down the little space around you, and that's about it. So here is your cord for it, a two-prong to a DC 5-volt adapter there that will plug it into the back of your... Uh, Arctic Air. There's been a lot of questions. People ask, well, does it come with a USB plug? This one doesn't. You can pick up a, you know, the five volt to USB. I have one and I have tested the Arctic Air Ultra in the car because a lot of people want to know, can, they, can you use it in a car and plug it into USB? You can. Again, I'll leave a link to that video. You'll find out why. Maybe it's not the best idea to try to use one of these devices in a car, but let's take a look at and see how much different this looks compared to last year's model. And I can see right here, and I have a, I just did a, a next fan, one that's just like this, has kind of the same top on it where you can just pour the water, where the old model you had to lift up and put your, your water in there. And if you could fit a few ice cubes, let's see, you could still take this, so you could take this whole top off where this one, I was messing with it. I don't think this top popped up, but you could put ice cubes in there if you wanted. Filter's gonna be in here. That just pops off. You can wet this down, you can freeze it. Obviously, if you want better results, I'm not gonna freeze it. I will wet it down and I will put ice water in the top here. Um, this probably all lights up with the LED lights where I don't believe this last year's model had any LED lights on it whatsoever. The first year one did, the, the sides lit up. So they kind of got away with that, away from that last year's model. So let's get, let me go run some water on the filter. We'll fill this up, plug it in, and see what type of results we get from this. 
All right, so I got my filter soaked. Put that in there. I got some ice water here. Put some ice cubes in there too with it. And I had this water sitting in the freezer for a little bit. Okay, it's all plugged in. We got our ice water in there. We got our filter soaked. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Little mist coming out of there. I don't know if you picked that up on the camera. And you can adjust the vents if you want it blown up or down or however you want to have those blow. So you can see it looks like three lights. So I assume this is the high speed. Two lights lit up, so this is number two. You go down to the quietest. And off. Not really loud. I wouldn't say this is any louder than the other, the older devices. Let's see what we can do with these lights here. Got a light button. There's a pink, a light blue. There's a light blue, purple, green. Kind of like an aqua green. Let's leave it right there. Let's leave it at the blue. That one. We'll go with that one. There we go. All right. Let me put it on me, see how it feels. Okay. Turn it off for a second. So right now in here, as you can see, it is 72.5 degrees Fahrenheit Celsius, 22.5 degrees Celsius. And we're at 42% humidity. Fahrenheit. I know you're probably saying in the video, oh, 72 degrees isn't that warm. I'm here in Michigan. It's early May. It's not going to get much warmer than this for quite some time. Actually, in the next two weeks, looks like the weather is going to be back down to the 50s. So it's not going to get much warmer for a while. But with 72 degrees, it shouldn't be that hard for this to drop it down if this does well. A lot of these, this doesn't advertise on the box how much it drops down. I just did a next fan and it said it drops the, the temperature quickly by nine degrees. When I tested it here, it didn't do that. I think we got like four, about four degrees drop. So that's what I'm expecting here. Maybe we can get this hopefully to like 69, maybe 68, we'll see. Um, but with that, watch the, the humidity, that's gonna rise. So I will preface this at the beginning of the video and I'll come back to this several times. These devices, these evaporative coolers, swamp coolers, whatever you want to call them, work best in dry climates. The higher the humidity, the worse these are going to be because they're going to make the humidity in your area go up. So if the humidity is already high, it's going to make you more uncomfortable and it's not going to cool you very well. So if you're in a dry climate, low humidity, these work great. If you're in a place, say, uh, Southeast, you know, Florida, somewhere in the, here in the United States or in other countries where it's really humid, you might as well look for a different device. Just get a fan. A fan will work better than these because it's going to make it more miserable because it's going to increase the humidity. So let's keep an eye on that. So we're at 73 degrees now and 40% humidity. So let's just turn this on, put it on high and have it just blow. We're what? About a foot away from our little thermometer gauge here. Turn that so you can see it. And we'll just let this run a little while and see how it works. And, and that's the thing is if you're getting one of these because say your air conditioning went out or maybe you don't have air conditioning in your apartment or house or something, you're thinking, wow, maybe one of these devices will help. Again, it's got to be a dry climate for it to even do anything. And these aren't super powerful. You know, you're going to cool down a space around you. You're not going to cool a whole house down with this. I think even in this room, if I set that over there, you're not going to see much change in the temperature in this. I mean, look, as we go, humidity is always already going up on here. Temperature hasn't started dropping yet. And we have ice water in here and I had that water sitting in the freezer. So it was cold. I soaked the, the um, filter in there. Now you can freeze the filter and maybe you'll get a little cooler temperature for a, a short period of time but that filter is gonna thaw really quickly with all this warm air being sucked through it. So freezing a filter, 
I would say just pass on that. I've tried it in the past and I haven't really gotten great results with it. It doesn't change much. And it's just more effort for you to, every time you want to use it, you're going to have to have multiple f uh, filters frozen in the freezer. Just put ice water in it. If you have that, if you don't have ice water, just put water in it again. It's just going to do a little bit. As we see, the temperature is dropping a little bit now. We're going down, but the humidity is increasing. And if you're looking, obviously, if you just want one of these maybe on a desk or something, this would probably be the, the style you want to go to. If you're looking for something more to cool down a room, like you really want it to cool the entire space, and you're in a dry climate, I would look at, let me see if you can see it back there, back there in the corner. That's the Arctic Air Tower. I did a video on that. I'll leave a link to that. It's a bigger device. It's twice as much. I think I paid $100 for that one. It oscillates, so it will, you know, turn and blows out a lot more, holds more water, cool down a bigger area than just this little one. So if you're looking for something to cool down a room, I would check out the Arctic Air Tower. But again, if you're not in a dry climate and where it's low humidity, it's not going to help you at all. Now this device, runtime up to runtime up to 10 hours. The runtime will vary depending on the speed setting, room temperature levels, room humidity levels, etc. So 10 hours, that 10 hours would be on the slowest setting, not on high. So obviously on high, if you got high humidity, it's hotter in here, you may only get a couple hours. So again, depending on your temperature, your humidity, everything will depend on, and the setting you run it on, how long this is going to last. You know, if you're in a really dry climate, low humidity, it's not super hot in the room, you're running on low, it says 10 hours. I would, I would expect two to five hours on high in like the temperatures I'm running right now. Also on the bottom, it says due to continued product enhancements, product image may differ slightly from the actual product purchase. So if you get it and it doesn't look exactly like it looks on the box, which I'm looking at mine, looks pretty similar. I think this is the one. It says you may have one that doesn't look like the box. Okay. All right, what are we at? 70.5. So we're still going down. We're, we're shooting for 60. What'd we say? Hopefully like 68 degrees would be good. And I believe when we started, humidity was at 40%. Now we're at 48. I mean, I, you could feel it over here, like my hand. I can feel it on my hand. But right here, I don't really feel much. I have another one, a little one. And I'm going to put this one, I think, back here. See if you can see it. So it's not blowing on it, just so you can see the difference in temperature just right off this compared to being right in front of it. So right now, just being back from it, where you don't feel anything, it's at, what, 73 degrees? The humidity is still the same because it's raising the humidity in the whole room here. But that's, that's how this thing works. It's not going to cool a space. Uh, like our, it's, it, This is not going to cool the room because you can see this is not even an inch from it. Let's see, can you see it in the overhead camera? It's right here, and here's it blowing. I mean, you can feel it right there. It's blowing right there. There's a three degrees, or now a four degrees almost, four degrees difference between right here and right here, just off it. So if you're sitting in front of it, you'll feel it, and you'll feel cool. If you're just a back from it a little bit, you're not going to feel anything. It's not going to do much. So 69.6 right now. That's, we go to Celsius. We're at 20.9, 50% humidity. So it's, it's doing its job. It's dropping its temperature. What are we, 73? Almost four degrees now. And we're still sitting at 73, which is what our starting temperature was. So, so the rest of the room is still sitting here at 73. I'm still pretty uncomfortable right here. I know you're saying 73 is not that uncomfortable. 73 degrees and 50% humidity is a bit uncomfortable. Especially if you're here from Michigan where we're used to temperatures you know, for the last several months have been in the 30s, if not lower. But if you have no other options and you don't have an air conditioner, again, this can help if you're just planning on having it blown on you. Maybe you're working on a computer. Maybe 
you know, you want it for your grandparents or yourself or whatever, and you just, you know, you sit in a chair watching TV or whatever, and you want something blowing on you that cools you down a little more in a fan, this could be it. Again, depends where you live and what the humidity is. If you're in a place where the humidity is probably, you know, upper 40s and above, might not be what you're looking for. You want some place where it's a lot drier climate for this to really work. Are we slowing down on the temperature drop now? We're at 69.6. We'll let it go a few more minutes and see if we get any more of a drop. And this is pretty, this is comparable of what I'm getting here and what I got in the other two devices, the older ones. And just to um, give you an idea of how bad it can increase the humidity, I had both of those devices last summer i put them in my bathroom a really small space smaller than this room here probably half the size of this room and i let them run i shut the door and put those in there for like an, for an hour it was it was the same temperature in the room about this you know about 73 degrees in there came back the temperature actually went up and the humidity went from i think it was at probably like 50 percent when i started to 99 percent humidity it was like walking into a steam room like when you open the door, you could just feel the moisture in the air. It was uncomfortable. So that's what happens when you get multiple of these devices in a small room. If your humidity is already high, it's going to make things horrible for you. So you need to use these in a dry climate. 68 will give us about a five degree drop. And that's typically what I get here in Michigan. A temperature change sitting right in front of these is about five degrees. I don't think I've ever gotten much more than that. If you have, if you live somewhere it's drier and you use one of these, throw it in the comments. What type of results do you get? You know, what's your starting temperature and what's it drop it down to? And if, you know, I don't know if you have one of these where it shows you what the humidity is. If you know how much it changes the humidity, let us know that too. And if you decide not to watch the video of, that I used the other device, the Ultra, in a car, if you're curious about how well this would work in a car. Obviously you can see, I'm, I'm showing you kind of the results. It's not going to help much. I tried it last summer in my car. It was like 90 in the car. Rolled up all the windows, turned it on, drove around with a little bit. Again, it helps a little blowing right on you, but not as well as just opening a window. And the problem with this is, you know, these tops don't seal that well. Look at that. I mean, as this shakes and as I drove around, water would spill out. You know, it's not going to sit perfectly still in your car as you turn and stuff and go over hills that water in there is going to be sloshing around it was just making a mess and trying to find a place for it to set in your car where it's not going to move it it's just not worth it i think there's i mean obviously if you don't have any other option and you don't want to spend the money to get your air ac fixed in your car i don't know maybe just getting a little fan to hook from your rear view mirror might work better because this is just a pain in the butt. It's not gonna do much. Again, it's gonna raise the humidity. It's messy, it's gonna be spilling water all over the place, so. But if you've done it and you've come up with a good solution of how it works in your car, again, throw it in the comments and let us know. I mean, for me, it didn't work that well, but maybe you've used one of these in the car and it does work really well. Okay, 69.1, come on, I think we can get to 68. There we go, 68.9. 20.5 Celsius. We got about a five degree drop. I think that's good. We shut this off. You can see what this device does. Is it worth it? I, $40. I'm sure you can find them cheaper. I, I know uh, people leave in the comments, they found it at like a flea market or whatever. Some of the older models, you know, maybe a few dollars or whatever. Just know what you're getting. It's not going to replace an air conditioner. This is a swamp cooler, an evaporative cooler. It takes warm air, puts moisture in it, and shoots it out the other side and cools it down a little bit. But at, at the same time, it's adding more moisture to the air, so it's raising the humidity. So again, one last time. Depends where you live. Depends on the conditions you're in. If you're in a dry climate, these are going to work really great. If you're not, and if you're in a really humid climate, pass on this. Just get yourself a fan. It's going to work a lot better. So there you go, the Arctic Air Pure Chill. I mean, I don't know if I would call that a pure chill. We got a five degree difference. Again, maybe if you're in a, you know, in a desert climate, 
you're getting better results, like I said, throw it in the comments. Let me know how much one of these devices cools your area and where you live down. Um, here, I'm getting about five degrees, not much. Right off of it, as you can see, no difference. Temperature pretty much stays the same, so you gotta be right in front of it to feel this thing. And again, whatever model you get, they're all gonna be about the same, unless you get one like that. Obviously, it's gonna be a little more powerful, it's gonna be bigger, but it's gonna cost a little more. So, like I said, if you've used one of these, throw it in the comments. Let us know the results you've gotten. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys next time.